Hey, if you don't know who I am, my name is Liam and I'm here to distract you from life and today I'm going to be doing that by looking at Mitch Grassi's new photo shoot for Out Magazine. So I've been following Mitch for quite some time now and if you don't know who he is, he is the one of the singers of the Pentatonix a cappella ba- band group, Angelic People. So if you are a Pentatonix fan, you would, and have listened to them for some time, you would have noticed that Mitch has evolved and has the world's biggest glow up of glow ups that anyone has ever seen in the history of the world. He went from someone who had a really amazing voice to someone who has a really amazing voice and a massive sense of style. I am obsessed with people who tend to have the ability to lose amazing amounts of weight and Mitch Grassi shrunk. He just He just shrunk. So without further ado, let's just look at some of these looks. So first of all, look at those lips. He got them BJ lips though. (laughs) The hair is something that I would really like to have that hairstyle, but every time I go, I say to someone, you know, I'd really like to have that straight bob fashion-y look, and everyone goes, you look like a 12 year old. How come Mitch can get away with it? No one will let me get away with it. You know what, in this, this particular outfit, he looks like he's the most fashionable serial killer in the world. He's just murdered a bunch of people, and now he's going to the club to murder the dance floor. Oh, look at this one. Okay, so now we're up close and personal with this. Is that a paperclip? He is the most fiercest administration officer you will ever meet. The only hope I ever have is to have eyebrows as slick as those. So in this picture, I'm getting the fact that he's gone into a retail shop and he said, I'll have that. No, I'll have that. No, I'll wear that. No, I'll wear this. You know what? I'm going to wear it all. Oh, he just looks like the most sneakiest little minx. You know, he's he's sneaking. But at the same time, he's giving you those flirty eyes while he's going to steal your rubies. And you don't even care that he's stealing your rubies because he looks amazing. Oh, the word Balenciaga. Isn't that just a great word? Balenciaga. Oh my god. First of all, I really love this coat. I, particularly as a man with big hips and a small waist, this is the kind of coat I need because screw the typical male out the male shape. I got the, I got the, the wine glass shape and this is the kind of coat I need to cinch it. He looks like he's just walked away from someone and he's really hoping that they say, no Mitch, wait. Like it's some kind of dramatic breakup scene or something and he's like, I'm all ready to turn around here. Like all you have to do is say the word and I will turn around right now. Literally, I have, I have boots that are facing your direction. <laughs> oh my god, he is the most fashionable security guard I have ever met and I would be fine with him kicking me out of a club. Not that I've ever been kicked out of a club before because I would probably cry if that ever happened. Oh, you know what? He's the evil villain in a movie. Oh god. Oh yes. Is it always the way that in evil villains and evil villain movies, they're always like the best character? He would be the best evil villain. Or the best evil boss. I own 51% of this company. Ah, I was not expecting that bag with that suit. That is just a pop of colour that nobody asked for, but we all wanted it. And we needed it. And I'm so glad it's here. He looks like he's trying to be very inconspicuous about stealing a bag, but it's just so orange that everyone's going to realise what he's doing. You know who he is? He's that guy who really just wants... <laughs> he just really wants to fit in at the party, so he, <laughs> so he comes looking really nice, but then it comes out of his actual casual form, and he's like, ooh, am I overdressed? <laughs> he just shuffles away with his giant orange bag. Oh, he's fake. He is, he's stealing the bag. I just... Who thinks of these things? I really think that Mitch told them what he was going to wear on this because this, these outfits are just fashion forward craziness. Like, I don't really understand fashion shows, to be completely honest, because a lot of the clothes that are on runways, I just, I couldn't see anyone buying because they're just not practical. I mean, no one's going to buy those shoes. Cut to... Like, 10 years in the future, everyone's walking around like a crab. So the other day, I got a comment on one of my videos from Victor saying, If you really want to know, you did distract me from reality for a bit. I am breaking up with my boyfriend, and you kind of made me smile through the tears, so thanks. First of all, Victor, I am so sorry you're going through such a tough time. Breakups can be really, really, really shitty, and they suck. But in my personal experience, when I went through a particularly rough breakup, I now realise that I do not, first of all, regret any of the time that I spent with that partner, and also the fact that I learnt and am much a better, stronger person after that breakup because now I know what I want in a relationship and don't want in a relationship. So, I'm sorry you're going through such a tough time, but thank you so much for that comment. It really means a lot to me that these videos do help people just relax and chill out with me for a little bit because that's what I'm here to do, and yeah. So, if you're new here, there is this little teeny tiny button just below this video that says the word subscribe. It's like a little rectangle and it's red. If you hit that button, you'll be notified every single time I upload 
upload a video to this channel. Isn't that just amazing? Something else I want to talk to you guys about is I would like to be doing more review videos on TV shows, kind of like what I'm doing with the RuPaul's Drag Race reviews. If you guys have any recommendations of shows that I should maybe be watching and you might like my thoughts on, let me know in the comment section because I would really like to have another series similar to the RuPaul's Drag Race uh, thing because it drags a lot of new people into this channel that are like-minded like me because if you like RuPaul's Drag Race you're gonna like this channel and I'd like to find another TV series that's kind of like that that I could also review to get other people to find my content as well so if you have any recommendations I, that would be greatly appreciated because the only thing I can think of right now is Skin Wars and that isn't starting up anytime soon so I don't know just let me know of other things that you might think I might be good at reviewing anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I distracted you from life from whatever's going on with you right now and uh, I will see you guys in next time you can like click these videos too if you want to go watch something else I mean there's heaps of videos on this channel like a lot it's a lot bye